You know, there's nothing more comforting, nothing more comforting than biting into a nice, warm tamale. It's like heaven. While these wrapped up bundles of goodness are sometimes looked upon only as a holiday meal, the ones sold at the Tamale House East have become an everyday affair. And today's Foodie Friday, you're getting a look inside. At the Tamale House East, you'll never walk around with an empty stomach. Breakfast is served. Even if you're there for work. Like any good mother, Diane Vasquez Valera wants to make sure my photographer and I are well fed. They have to be very well covered and they're being steamed so they're being cooked. Judging by the size of these tamales, we're in the right place. But usually one of these will do it. Yeah. You know, unless it's a big guy. Or There's masa for the masses in this kitchen off East 6. On average, they sell 200 dozen tamales a week. Each type is made with a different kind of corn dough filling. We've got our pork here, chicken, and the bean back here. And sauce like tomatillo. Chili con carne. Or ranchero. And then we also have a mole sauce that we do. You also have to try their migas. Migas are wonderful. If not our first, our second seller, best seller. You can eat, mix some bacon in it. You can put some sausage. You can put some chorizo mexicano. Can I have the chipotle migas? The menu is classic but evolving. Unlike the eight items at the original Tamale House, Diane's family opened on First in Congress. Can you make it to go, please? In 1958. Since then, the restaurants branched out across Austin. There were one, two, three, four, five, and we're the sixth one. And this is the last one. A lot of the things that we've added on have been recipes that my children have learned from their travels. Both locals and tourists understand there's no skimping out on portions. The fish tacos come with a full filet. A lot of people that come here were either the first stop off the airport or were their last stop before they leave Austin. They just love it that much. The Male House East has a nice patio and wraparound bar. And inside, you feel like you're at Abuelita's house. So cozy. Speaking of comfort, that chair. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Well, since I spent a lot of time here, I, I wanted a nice little sofa where I could just maybe fall asleep. This is Diane's home. And no matter how much construction you see in her neighborhood, the Vasquez Valera family is keeping the Tamale House legacy alive on the east side. And the Mala House East has live music two nights a week on Thursdays. It's salsa and there's plenty of dancing. And then on Saturdays, they've got a house band. How big were those tamales? They look delicious. Huge. You just need one. They had, they made them with two corn husks so they can, you know, mm -hmm. withstand the, the weight. Don't lie to the people. How many did you have? Uh, I shared it with my photographer. Oh, we just, had the chicken Just one? one? Yeah, because oh we also tasted gosh. the miga. So we had a little bit of... They would have had to roll me out of there. Those look delicious. <laughs> Seriously.